Tires and rims have to be the number one aftermarket accessory for ATVs and side-by-sides. And while most ATVs come equipped with nice looking sets from the factory, a lot of riders want to stand out in the crowd and enhance their off-road capabilities with larger diameter tires and more aggressive tread patterns. Fact is, stock belts are great for just that, stock bikes or mild terrain. But if you're running larger or more aggressive tires, are playing a lot in the mud or climbing steep rocky sections at lower speeds, then you know what? You need to upgrade your belt. Don't believe me? Well consider this, on your CVT equipped ATV, the true link between the motor and power getting to the wheels is your belt. It takes all that abuse you deliver by running in high range when you should have been in low, brake torquing wheelies when showing off, wheel spinning torque loads when roosting out of a corner, and belt burning dry out sessions when you get the water or mud up to the clutch snorkel. Yeah, your belt is a pretty important piece of technology. And remember, when you throw on a larger diameter set of tires or more aggressive rubber, you are increasing the stress that's put on your belt. So what's the answer? Well, let me tell you. Offering purpose-built belts to meet your riding style and your ATV's performance is precisely what Daco has been doing for years. Whether it's the HP series that's perfect for your lower displacement ATV, the HPX series that's designed to dominate any type of terrain, or the XTX, their most powerful built belt for the most extreme machines. No matter the application, Daco has you covered. And get this, they're also backed by a one-year warranty. Since we have the 1000cc Rotax under the seat, I've decided to use the XTX belt because it's built for extreme torque, targeted at the most demanding rider who's going to use their ATV in the most demanding terrain and require longevity. A belt change is something most ATVers can do on their own, in the comfort of your garage or out in the yard. However, we all know the horror stories of trailside belt changes when a stock belt has been abused for too long. You don't want to be in this situation ever. And while you may be thinking, why change a brand new or good looking belt? It's the same reason you put on a set of more aggressive tires and replace your mildly worn stockers. They aren't built for the job you're asking them to do. Daco belts go through the most stringent quality control and grueling testing to ensure that they'll perform no matter what you throw at them. And just because your belt isn't something you look at on a daily basis, doesn't mean it's something that should be overlooked. The XTX belt is built utilizing Kevlar and high temperature neoprene to increase strength. Tested in excess of 12,000 RPM, the XTX reduces slippage in high torque load situations, increases the responsiveness of engine braking, stays cooler thanks to its rib top design, and increases acceleration at mid and top end engine RPM. Boiled down, an XTX belt will outperform a stalker, delivering notable performance gains. With the clutch cover still off our Outlander, I want to take the time to regain the horsepower that we lost due to the 2 inch diameter increase in our tire size. We've got the belt to handle anything that we can throw at it, so in next week's episode, I'm going to show you how we can regain that power that we've lost.